aiming takes forever in this game. Unlike Shenzhen, where I could save a million times in, in a row, but that's because that's on the PC and it's a much faster. You may pass, but please be quiet. Both Belle's and Jessica's bedrooms are located upstairs. Did you hear that, Noel? Hear what? You're going to have to speak up, Luna. I don't know how Alex puts up with you. Oh. Well, isn't this cute? A boy and his monster. I'm not a monster, but I can bite like one. Oh, oh, Abyss. Yeah, that also takes a while too. Oh, too bad Tiger, Tiger the, the commenter is not here. She would have been talking all about Abyss right now. Though I don't suppose that would actually be very helpful for this stream in particular. This door is locked tighter than a tenement building in South Central. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess it's a reference to something. Huh, weird. What do you have to say? When Jessica was here, this was my dream job. And now I'm forced to ogle the maids all day. Oh my gosh, really? She can't get back from that cursed shrine soon enough. Really, you came here to... Oh, well, I suppose I can't blame you too much. The only way we'll get through this door is with a battering ram or a credit card. What? Why are you talking about a credit card? No, I'm pretty sure that thing doesn't exist in this world. Oh, this game. What do you... Huh, what all working designs. You trying to sneak things in like that. That doesn't make sense with the world. That is a little weird, but oh well. Some people accuse Jessica of being spoiled, but she always has kind words for the guards. Jessica becomes more beautiful every day, and she looks more and more like her mother. I can't imagine what Mel must feel every time he sees her. What did happen to her mother? Hmm. Guess we'll find out some other time. Alright, we're here on... I don't know where this is. Oh, this is where you fought uh, Mel. I saw you fight, Master Mel. You're not bad for a child. Of course, Mel wasn't fighting for real or he would have left a dent in your skull. Don't believe me? Take a close look at my head. Alex, if he's that strong without even trying... <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? Maribia will never be in danger with Mel watching over it. No kidding, if he's that... What is he? What the... he... That's ridiculous. He's holding back and I can't even damn... Hurt... kill him. Are you the new recruits? Why haven't you put on your armor yet? Move it, move it, move it! Wanna aim that baritone somewhere else? We're not soldiers! Whoops! Ah, sorry about that, kids. This this is Master Mel's indoor gym. <laughs> Members of the Moribian army come here to learn the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And new recruits come here to discover just how much they have to learn. Uh, I guess what's over here? Can I do anything? This guy is blocking the way. No one is allowed through this passage by order of Master Mel. Where does it lead? Deep into the sewers beneath the city. I have a feeling I'm going to have to use that eventually, but not at the moment. It was built as an emergency escape route, but the sewers now hold hazards of their own. Maybe we'll have to do something there or find some treasure, I don't know. Let's talk to this guy over here. Step it up, maggots! You're a disgrace to your Paris and your city! You make me want to puke! Wow. Motivational speeches. Wah! Hia! If I make it through training, I'll fulfill my dream! Becoming a soldier? No, man! Sneaking into Jessica de Alkirk's room and rummaging through her underwear drawer! Wow. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh my. Ah. My sparring partner has been talking about working for Jessica all day. I keep slipping on all the drool coming out of his mouth. It's not fair. War is hell. Everyone. I can't, I guess, well, they're all a bunch of young men who are like, Ah, oh, look at all the pretty girls. 
Come on, Wibs. Doesn't anyone have the guts to challenge me? What about Alex here? Wait, aren't you the kid who fought Master Mel? Oh. Ooh, ouch. Oh, ingrown toenail. Man, that stings. Maybe we could fight some other time. Yeah, sure. Huh. How about this person over here? Get out of my way! I gotta beat the tar out of this guy! I don't think this soldier gig is for me, man. I'm sticking to living in my parents' basement. I wanna fight too! Come here and let me punch you! Yeah! Go away, kid! You bother me! Hold still! Wah ha! I don't see his parents around, Alex. Just one quick swat to the head? Huh, so it's just a kid. Well, I think we're done here, so we can leave the town, leave the, the room. Oh, I guess I could read this. I once heard Mel say that his daughter was the most precious treasure of all. Excuse me. Hey, I don't care what you are. Just keep the noise down or I'll have to put you down. Jeez, okay. Well, anyway, I think I've talked to all the NPCs here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get out of here. I guess we're gonna we rendezvous with our party members afterwards. I'm gonna save here just in case something bad happens. But I have a feeling I'm gonna have to meet Jessica at the shrine too. Get out of here. Okay. Huh. What do I have? He deserves only finest. Okay, well, we're done with Master Mel. Well, I guess I could. What happens if I try to talk to him again? Just for fun. I don't know what to do otherwise. I think we're. we're I mean, we're essentially done with this town. Because we've explored everywhere. You have anything else to say? Oh, he just says the same thing. Okay. I know. Well, thank you. I'm glad you appreciate my courage in fighting a guy like you who can kill me in two shots. That's kind of scary. Let's go find... Um, where's... Where's uh, Ramus? It's I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, okay. He says the same thing. Huh. Okay, we'll heal ourselves. And let's save out here. Huh. I don't know what to do now. Huh. Wait a minute, Alex. Are you going to go without Ramus? Yes, yeah, so we have to do we have to find Ramus again. I'm gonna. I already talked to most of these guys, so I'm assuming he's gonna be in a pawn shop. So into a pawn shop? Am I talking about wrong game? Shenzhen has pawn shops, but not this game. No, he's not here. Ramus, Ramus, hello, Ramus. Oh, this is the time when I wish I had the tales of like marker for like go here, you crazy person. But that won't be around for a long time until after this game. So anyone out in the chat there other than Zeo Corvid? Who hello Zeo Corvid? How you doing? Did you remember this town from the GBA version? You no, know, I wish the sprites were better in this game. I really can't help but complain about it. Considering I looked at all the other versions of the game, it looks really good. Oh pretty good. Oh, uh, well. Can't go into those buildings. Huh. Where is Ramus? Ramus! Do I have to go? Where do I have to go? Yes, how is life? It is fine. I can't open that chest. No, I'm thinking about... About the game I will play 
after um, after uh, Shenzhen 2, which is the I barely remember that from again. Elementary or so. Wow, that was a long time ago. So that's like almost nearly. Wow, that's like what you're based on Zeo Corvid's age, which I will not reveal. But oh, okay, I see when that would have been. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a long time ago. That would have actually not been too far away from the release of this version of the game, which was in 1998. I was not... I didn't know about this game until 2001 or 2001 or so, but... I saw a preview, a little snippet of it in the game review, in a, in a little game section of the screensavers, which was on ZDTV. Back when it, it used to be... Z, okay, maybe I can find... Can't open this chest yet. I'm not, I don't think I'm supposed to be in there yet. Yeah, that would have been even your late elementary school would have been pretty close to the release of this game. Maybe about two or three years. What do you have to say, sir? I heard a lot of bad things about this place, but I decided to come check it out for myself. And you know, the owner does seem a little shady, but maybe I'm just paranoid. I have a feeling Ray misses here. Oh boy. Come, Ramus, don't get us swindled, okay? <clears throat> you don't understand! This is a dragon diamond freshly minted from Cork's mighty keister! Oh, I see. <laughs> he, uh, a more elegant way of saying. He doesn't just give this away to en just anyone, you know? How am I supposed to know if this. How am I supposed to know if this is a genuine dragon diamond? We've had a devil of a time with Dragon Zirconium lately. It seem like, seems like we've got a fool in here every day now claiming to have a genuine Dragon Diamond. But I will admit this is the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. Huh. I'll, I'll be right back. I actually got to see if there's any... I guess this was the last building I could have gone to. Yeah, that's the armor shop. So yeah, let's just finish our business here. Oops. Uh, computer just turned off. It's okay. Hey, Alex, did you meet with Master Mel? I'm still negotiating with this with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might have to sell for a lot less than it's worth. I'm sorry. Huh. Huh. Well. I don't know, Ramis. I don't know if you have to settle for less, but I guess you have to go to a place that can value it. <laughs> like I've been, like I've been telling you, young man, this is a wonderful stone. But the dragon diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find the dragons anymore, much less how to get diamonds from them. All right, all right. So, how much will you give us for it? For a diamond of this caliber, I'll give you 20,000 S for it. It's my one and only offer. It's your decision to, to Alex. What do we do? Uh, what do we do? Hmm. I don't think it's... That's too little. I think we can get more. Is that right, young man? Well, you're welcome to look around. But you're not gonna find a store that can offer half as much as me. I'm the richest jeweler in Moribia. Huh. I'm going to... Oh, I, could, I can choose not to save. I'm not gonna save for now. We can try again. May offer is the same, young man. 20,000 S for your lovely diamond. Alex, I think we should take his offer before he changes his mind. Mm, let's just ask him. Okay, he just says the same thing. What do you have to say? Listen, I'm not denying that this is a wonderful diamond, although it has an unusual smell. But how can you expect me to believe that it's a dragon diamond, lad? 
Unless the dragon himself is willing to come here and back up your story, I can't pay.